Yo, what's up guys, Boss here, and I'm back with another YouTube video, and this time, we're having a Pro vs Pro, and we are playing against Morton. So, I'm sure you guys know who Morton is, but in case for whatever reason you don't, I mean, he's on SK Gaming, and he put up an outstanding performance in the CRL World Finals, and along with that, he's a really good ladder player. I mean, look at his best finish, 19th, last season, 122. He's won over a million grand challenge cards. I mean, he's absolutely insane. Um, so I messaged him the other day and asked him if he wanted to have a best of five, and he was down to do it. So I decided I'm going to, you know, make a video on it. And I had one with Jack, as you guys remember. He beat me 3-2. and two. It was super close. I also had one with Bag, and I managed to beat him. Uh, three and two so all the best of fives I've had are, have been really close so hopefully we have a good one today I'll ask him are you ready um, and basically to give you guys the rule I mean the rules um, you guys as you guys probably know it's the first to three wins wins the best of five um, and the healer uh, we decided both of us uh, there's gonna be no healer um, because the healer can't be used in competitive events anyways until it's official release to the game so in this best of five, we aren't using the healer. So I have my five best decks here that I feel uh, confident using. So one is this Elixir Golem uh, Magic Archer E-Drag deck. Another is this Lava Hound deck. Uh, another is my Giant E-Drag deck. And then I have this Splashyard Graveyard deck. And then I have this Mega Knight Graveyard deck, which I'm probably going to start it off with. So... <clears throat> Let's just, uh, I guess, send the first battle um, or request. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to play my best. I mean, he's a really good player. No matter what happens, this will be, yeah, a lot of fun, really good practice. So let's just send out the first game. Um, I'm not sure if he's expecting a graveyard deck, to be honest. Um, and guys, uh, he has a YouTube as well and a Twitch and a Twitter. I'm going to link them all in the description. So let's give him the good luck here. We started, he accepted. And excuse me guys if I don't talk much because I'm gonna be focusing. So it looks like he's gonna cycle skeletons in a Night Witch. So I'm gonna go in with my baby dragon here. And he's gonna have an Ice Wizard as well. Cycle the Night Witch in the back here. We're gonna get a tiny bit of damage, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna get a poison off on that Night Witch because I feel like it's pretty annoying. And he's gonna go for a elixir golem. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Knight. This might be tough to stop, but on the plus side, we know he doesn't have his Night Witch in rotation. He is gonna get the King Tower activated, so we'll play it on his part. But with that lightning, he's going to be down a little bit of elixir. So let's go in here with a graveyard push. And I'm going to go ahead and snowball that ice wizard into the other lane. And oh my god. Guys, I think we're going to take his tower or at least get it really low. Because he went in super aggressive there and didn't have much elixir to play defense. So I'm going to go in with a goblin cage again. And I mean, look at this position we're in right now. We're in a super good spot. If we can just get another... Um, good push on his tower, we could win, but we need to be still patient and wait for the opportunity, and knowing he does have his king tower activated, it might be a little bit difficult, of course, but we'll kind of see here. Let's just poison that. I'm going to go in for a goblin cage. Let's go for an Ewiz here. Let's 
and now guys we'll just go ahead and send in another graveyard on his tower and i don't think he's gonna have elixir to stop that so i feel like it's gonna be a good game especially if we get a poison off yeah it's gonna be a good game honestly guys that matchup isn't even too bad for us because we have a poison and it gets a lot of value against him like i mean even though he has the elixir golem it doesn't really matter because we have the mega knight we have the night witch the baby dragon and the goblin cage like a ton of answers to it poison does really good against his night witch his ice wizard and honestly when he went really aggressive towards the beginning of the game uh we were just able to take advantage of that so now i'm gonna switch to a deck that i'm very very comfortable running uh my giant e drag deck and the reason why i want to switch to this is because since i just won a game he's probably not expecting me to go to one of my comfort decks so i'm gonna go ahead and uh run this i mean obviously he knows that i'm uh very good with it so he could be expecting it but as i said i don't really expect him to think that i'm going to one of my comfort decks but we'll see like what he wants to do and it looks like he's gonna send in a hog rider so hog rider um could be like a lot of different things and he's gonna have archers as well okay so he's using um i think he might be using hog earthquake and that's uh definitely like i would say not even too bad of a matchup since we don't have a building but at the same time he does have an inferno so it might be kind of difficult to uh like break through sometimes i guess we'll just kind of have to see and he's gonna switch lanes with his hog rider pretty well played on his part um let's just go with a log uh and that will fully eliminate the hog rider it won't get a single hit on our tower so yeah as i said i mean this isn't an awful matchup but it definitely isn't easy just because we don't have a ton of answers to the hog in single because he can easily out cycle us but um i feel like yeah it's not too bad as i said And we're gonna fireball that i know it might seem like a little bit of an overcommitment, but honestly it's what we have to do because a zap wouldn't have been enough and the valkyrie would have gotten so much damage in but i think it's gonna be fine anyways just because we we might have to spend a little bit more on defense and single but that's okay um double is like when we build up our main pushes and we can actually like soak damage so i think right here i'm actually gonna go for a giant just because we know that um, he doesn't have a Hog Rider in rotation right now, but obviously he is going to have an Inferno, so I don't expect to get much out of this push, but we could, of course, just go in for, like, a Miner and try to get chipped in, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with the uh, Mega Minion here, and then I'm going to send in a Miner, and, yeah, he's going to catch it with the Valk, so pretty well played prediction on his part, to be honest. We're not going to Zap or do anything, we're just going to let that die. Um... And let's like log that i don't really want to play a night witch because i feel like that might be an overcommitment. so instead i'm just going to go ahead and cycle the giant in the back um that might be a good fireball opportunity but we'll see like if he's going to play anything else maybe he's going to cycle his inferno into it we'll just kind of have to see yeah he's going to go for a inferno tower there so let's just go for a miner on top of his archers I am going to zap the, the Inferno just so hopefully that Giant can get a hit on it. Um, it doesn't get a hit, unfortunately, and now our next Giant push might not be able to get much damage in, but I am going to go ahead and Fireball the Inferno, finish it off. Uh, let's go with the Log here. Um, zap, and we should be able to take his Tower, I think. Um... Yeah, Fireball will finish it off, so that is going to be a good game once again. I mean, uh, like, as I said, I mean, this is, like, my best deck. So, like, honestly, um, I can beat almost anything with it. And he didn't even run a hard counter to it, so that's why it seemed pretty, maybe, like, kind of easier. And also, as I already said, like, Earthquake doesn't even, I mean, to be honest, like, really do anything for him in that matchup. So he kind of has a dead card. And then also, like, along with that, I felt like I just played that really well. I mean, in the beginning, we took a ton of damage. But as I said, like, in double, it is really kind of tough for him to stop with our E-Drive just getting a lot of value. Um, so now I'm going to run a deck, like, he might not expect it. I mean, I'm not really sure. I uh, made a video on this yesterday, if you guys watched my last video. Um, so we're up, 
like right now uh two and oh and i'm a little surprised i wasn't really expecting to be in this situation so i don't want to get like overexcited um but at the same time um yeah i mean i should just kind of honestly be playing like how i've been uh but yeah, this deck, I feel it's like a pretty consistent deck. It doesn't have many hard counters, and the reason why I'm going to pick this is because he just ran a deck that had the Inferno, so I don't expect him to go back to another Inferno deck. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and run this. Hopefully, we can get a good matchup and play really well. I mean, I'm not like really, really good with this deck, but um, I'm, I feel like I'm good enough with it to beat like even matchups or even like matchups in my favor. Uh, depending on like what he runs so hopefully he doesn't run the same deck back i mean we'll just kind of have to see but if he does end up running the same deck back um we might have a little bit um okay so it looks like he's gonna go for wall breakers unfortunately for us i don't even have yeah a good answer to them so i'm just gonna go ahead and tank that damage and then go for a lot of hound knowing that he has his wall breakers and his minor out of rotation so he isn't able to punish us Alright, he's just gonna go first magic archer. Um, I guess we'll minor that and then go with a snowball on top of his bats. Um, unfortunately magic archer isn't gonna go down, but it got pushed forward. Oh my god. It somehow got pushed forward and the Mega is gonna get targeted. Oh my god, bad poison on my part. I don't think that Magic Archer is going to die. Yeah, that was a really bad poison on my part. But on the plus side, we got so much damage. Guys, this is a really, really bad matchup for him. He doesn't have many air counters. This was actually a really good de uh, deck pick on my end. Like, I, I think this is actually... Um, like, I think we hard counter him, because he doesn't have any answers to our Lava Hound. He has bats, which I just snowball, and, like, yeah, this is, like, um, definitely not too bad. I'm gonna go for a Miner here. See what he got, does, so I guess we'll just do that. And I think we need to go for Barbarians once again on the Wawbreakers. I don't think I'm going to go for another Lava Hound push. I'm just going to try to chip him out with Miners. I don't know if this is like a mistake or not, or if I should be doing this, because um, we'll see here. He's applying really good pressure. I think, guys, he might end up winning. Yeah, that is going to be a good game. He played that really well. I mean, he's so good with that uh, that deck. And honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest, we, we kind of hard counter him. The reason why I say that is we have Poison for his Magic Archer. We have Snowball for his Bats, but we still lost because he applied really good pressure. And I felt like he didn't, um, like, he, he basically ensured us that we couldn't get a Lava Hound down. Yeah, I, I felt like... That game, I played a little sloppy towards the end uh, with just not going in for a Lava Hound. I should have just, I don't know, I should have just been smarter on, like, when I should have gone in for a Lava Hound. Um, but, I mean, he just played that really smart. I don't I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's just not an easy matchup for, for, all, for all at him, but he still managed to win. I mean, he's super good with that, with that deck and, like, the Magic Archer in general. So, now... I'm gonna go to this deck because I'm really good with it. Um, I've played a lot of Elixir Golem, and uh, I I just I, I know how to use the deck pretty well. Um, I can beat most matchups with it. However, if he does run like a Bomb Tower deck, it is gonna be difficult. But because he just ran Bomb Tower last game, I'm not sure he's gonna run it back to back. 
but he might so we do need to be careful for that but regardless let's just go into the next game here and hopefully we could end up winning this um right here get a good matchup because guys we've we're doing really good right now we're, we're two and one so we're still we're still in the lead in this best of five um and if we get this win here we close it so that's what we want to do so this deck is typically a deck that does better in double but at the same time if you're versing like a more expensive deck like a lava hound deck or a golem deck you are going to want to make the first move and it is looking like he's running something expensive too so i'm going to go ahead and cycle a magic archer in the back because if it is golem or lava hound it is going to be lava hound so guys we have a pretty good matchup here we have a lot of air counters um i got the e-drag magic archer and the tornado so like if unless he's he's running a surprise lava hound deck that i haven't seen before we should have a pretty good matchup here um like you see here we have the e-drag we have the night witch like we have so many answers for his lava hound to be honest so i don't like see us having too much of a problem here in this matchup i'm gonna go for a poison here and then i want a magic archer to hopefully finish off that night witch He's going to get a good poison off, but I feel like by the time he poisoned, it's already maybe kind of late. Like, look at all the damage we're going to get with the Elixir Pups. Like, I mean, as I said, this is going to be, I mean, a really, really tough matchup for him. Because I'm going to be honest, guys, like, um, um, I don't know how much damage that Inferno Drag is going to get. Okay, good. I was worried it was going to do, like, a lot more than that, but I think we're fine. But yeah, guys, wow, we've gotten such good matchups so far in this, um, best of five. It's actually kind of insane. I'm going to Elixir Golem opposite lane. He is going to have Barbarians, so let's just go with a Poison on that. go for hound in the back i don't know if he has enough time to get through we'll have to see obviously all i have to do Wow, I lost, unfortunately. Oh my god, and we we lost two good matchups for us, I felt like. Wow, that was a crazy finish. I think my main mistake was dropping the Elixir Golem into the left lane. Oh, it's all tied up. Okay, I need, I need to take a deep breath here. I, I just, I, I screwed up really bad the last couple of games, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this deck back and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to play a lot better. We don't want to get reverse swept. He's running wall breakers again. It could be that bomb tower wall breaker deck. He's very good with it. <laughs> we both, uh... went in for protection on the
Luckily, our bats are going to help in a t help a ton there, but this is not looking great to start this game off. I'm worried he's going to activate the King Tower off of the E-Drag. I really hope he doesn't. But I think he's going to. Oh, good, he didn't. Thank God. <sighs> Double Elixir. It's going to be easier for us. We got this, guys. I believe in myself. He's gonna go for a high bomb tower so he can't snipe it with the magic archer. That's really well played on his part. And we're gonna be able to protect our magic archer. We're gonna ignore the wall breakers in the opposite lane. Oh, that's it. Oh, we got reverse swept. Whew. I... That's unfortunate, but... Rip. Choke the last few games. Uh, thanks so uh, much for coming on. Um. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> any any shout outs you want to say here? Also include it in the description. He says drop a like. <laughs> he has a YouTube of his own. Oh, uh, guys, I, I I I really I really am upset though. I choked those last few games. I'm I'm happy. I I think here's what happened. Here's what happened. I, I got a little too overconfident after I won the first two games. Um, like I, I played, I played really well these two games, and then I, I kind of choked. Um, like, like I said, he, this game, there, there's no excuse, no excuse to lose this game. I think I just need to practice Lava Hound a little bit. I think that's the biggest thing. Lava Hound, um, I just started using. 
Um, so probably something I should practice a little bit. This one was just me getting, I don't know, I don't know what happened at the end. I just, I, I really kind of choked and his tower had 100 HP. That was, uh, um, yeah, really unfortunate. Oh, man. Um, but I guess I'm okay with how it turned out. I mean, it does really suck getting reverse swept, but, um, winning the first two games against one of the best players in the whole world right now and, you know, losing the best of five, only three, two, not too bad in my opinion. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, let me know, uh, let me know who you want the next pro to be. Um, a lot want Surge. I'll try to get Surge on. Uh, I I'll see if he, last time I tried to message him, he didn't respond, but I'll see if I can get Surge on. That would be a really nice pro versus pro as well. Maybe Igor. Let me know. You let me know if you guys want to see me play Igor. Um, and if you guys didn't know, just so you guys get an idea of like the competitive events I'm doing right now, um, there's this thing called the Brenchon Cup, and right now I'm four and one. So I managed to beat um, some really good players in it. Uh, one of them was actually IMJP. The other one was Jack, um, and then there was a couple others. Um, and I'm gonna do my best to win that Brenchon Cup because. If I do end up winning it, um, if you guys haven't heard of it, make sure to just check it out. You can find information on it on like YouTube and Twitter. It's a huge event, and if I ended up placing really well or winning it, I'll have a good opportunity of getting into CRL and other competitive events. So I'm gonna try to do my best. Best and practicing like this is really good. Um, you can check out my channel of you're interested in more content. Um, we'll. I'm looking for the right emoji. Uh, all right, so that's gonna be it. Um, like I said, Morton, thank you for. Uh, I don't know if you're watching this, but if you are, thank you for. Uh, I'm doing this. Um, as I said, I I'm still upset. I choked the last like basically three games. The last one uh, was not a good matchup for me not too good of a matchup, but these two games, I, I really disappointed about choking, um, but it happens, guys, it happens, um, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to like if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, all Morton's information will be in the description below, including his Twitter, his YouTube, and his Twitch, which he streams, I think, a couple times a week on, so thanks again, until next time, guys.